I went to the animal shelter. We decided we wanted to get a cat. This one cat, uh, he just kept coming and talking to us and reaching out of the cage to us and things like that. You could tell he wanted to go home with us. And so we ended up taking him home and he was an amazing cat, amazing cat. He became one of the family really quick. He had just disappeared one day and he was always out in the yard and but one day he didn't come back. Might you have a picture of the cat? I just happened to bring one. Oh good, <laughs> it helps me if I can look at a picture. You know the saying that a picture is worth a thousand words? It's kind of the same thing. When I see a picture of an animal, I can experience so much more about that animal than just a description. So he was about five or six when he went missing. How long ago was that? It's been about 10 years. 10 years ago. Well, let me tune into him okay. and see what we can say. Right, thank you. So, Max, I'm here with Deborah, who was your beautiful mom. And we're calling for the Max that is connected to Deborah right now. And he's saying, I'm here, I'm here. Even though he's been gone for years, he almost invited me to look through his eyes and to feel what his life was like when he was here. I'm not attached to being right about this, but I do believe that um, he's not in his physical body any That's longer. What I do. Okay. Did you ever have any sightings of him after? No. I'm getting Nothing. that some way he transitioned uh, at that time. I knew in that conversation that Max was really making his presence known. He wanted Deb to know that he was still here with her, even though he wasn't here in the body. Now, was he an indoor-outdoor cat? So yes. he was able, yes, because he's telling me that he was quite savvy um, as a hunter. And um, was he a pretty good hunter? Oh my gosh, he brought things home to Did me he? and he would leave them on the back okay. doorstep. He's saying, now tell my mom that she will cry if you tell her <laughs> that somebody got me. She said, tell, tell my mom that I was okay because the transition was quick. It was hard hearing what Sandra had to say, how that he did pass, but it's good to know he's okay. He's okay. We miss him greatly, but we do at least now know what happened to him, and that was, a, I guess, a close of the chapter. I don't want... <laughs> it was a long week after that. If you've loved a soul, whether an animal or a human, know this that that soul is still connected to you.